you ever wondered what a black hole is? How do they form? What happens if you fall into one? In this video, we will explore these questions and more about these mysterious objects in space. A black hole is a place in space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. That's why they are called black holes, because they are invisible to our eyes. But how can something be so powerful that it can trap light? To understand this, we need to know a bit about gravity. Gravity is a force that attracts objects with mass to each other. The more mass an object has, the stronger its gravity. For example, Earth has more mass than the Moon, so Earth's gravity is stronger than the Moon's gravity. Now imagine that you have a very massive object, like a star. A star has so much mass that its gravity is very strong. But it also has another force that balances its gravity, pressure. Pressure is a force that pushes outward from the center of an object. In a star, pressure comes from the nuclear reactions that produce energy and light. As long as the pressure and gravity of a star are balanced, the star stays stable. But what happens when the star runs out of fuel for its nuclear reactions? Then the pressure drops and gravity takes over. The star collapses under its own weight and becomes smaller and denser. If the star is big enough, it can collapse so much that it becomes a black hole. A black hole has such high density that its gravity becomes extreme. It creates a region around it called the event horizon, which marks the point of no return for anything that crosses it. The event horizon is not a physical boundary, but rather a point where space and time are distorted by gravity so much that there is no way out. The size of the event horizon depends on how much mass the black hole has. The more mass it has, the bigger its event horizon. There are different types of black holes, stellar black holes, intermediate black holes, supermassive black holes. Stellar black holes are the most common type, and they are formed from the collapse of a single massive star. Intermediate black holes have a mass that is hundreds or thousands of times greater than our sun, while supermassive black holes are found at the center of most galaxies, with a mass that can be billions of times greater than the sun. Black holes also have a number of interesting properties, such as their ability to distort space and time around them, which can cause a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when the gravity of a black hole bends the path of light from a distant object, causing it to appear distorted or magnified. There are different ways that black holes can form in nature. One way is by stellar death, as we just explained. When massive stars die, they explode in supernovas and leave behind either neutron stars or black holes. Another way is by collision of two dense objects like neutron stars or smaller black holes. When they merge together, they release huge amounts of energy and create bigger black holes. A third way is by primordial formation in the early universe when matter was very dense and unevenly distributed. Some regions could have collapsed into tiny black holes before stars were formed. There may be other ways to create artificial black holes using advanced technology or exotic physics, but we don't know if they are possible or safe. If you ever get close to a black hole, which we don't recommend, you will experience some strange effects due to its extreme gravity. First of all, you will see your surroundings distorted by gravitational lensing which bends light around massive objects like magnifying glasses. Secondly, you will feel tidal forces which stretch or squeeze objects depending on their distance from the center of gravity, like how tides on Earth are caused by Moon's gravity. Thirdly, and most importantly, you will face spaghettification which tears apart objects into thin strands as they approach the event horizon, like how pasta gets thinner when cooked. Once you cross the event horizon, if you survive spaghettification, there is no turning back, you are doomed to fall towards the singularity at the center of the black hole where all matter gets crushed into infinite density and zero volume, or maybe something else happens, but we don't know. What would you see inside a black hole? Well nobody knows for sure because no information can escape from beyond the event horizon, that's why they are called black. Some theories suggest that time slows down near the singularity until it stops completely. 
Others suggest that space becomes twisted into higher dimensions. Suggest that there may be wormholes or portals to other universes, but these are all speculations based on mathematics, not observations. So maybe it's better not to find out what lies inside a black hole unless you want to take an ultimate risk for science. Black holes are some of the most mysterious and fascinating objects in the universe, and they have captivated the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about space and science.